Hey YouTube, we'll go back to another episode of Jack Likes, and this is the Halloween special for the Jack Likes series for season three. And so, anyways, the less guessing stars are first like, and that is Terror Tales of the Park, the regular show Halloween specials. Basically, these Halloween specials from regular show, they're really they're awesome and funny, and they're really enjoyable to watch. Basically, this is what it's all about. Uh, basically, uh, it's uh, the regular show gang, including like uh, Mordecai, Rigby, uh, Muscle Man, uh, Benson, uh, Skip, Pops, and the Get Rest. And they tell scary stories uh, during Halloween. Let's see, see which one's the scariest. Let's see, it consists like vampire infestation and creepy dolls, real life uh, possessed puppets, and a killer bed, and, and 80 guys are haunting a house, and uh, let's see, like uh, turning into werewolves and getting a wizard mad. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, see, these stories are really, really good. Uh, basically, during Halloween, it's the perfect way to spend your Halloween by watching these specials, especially if you're a big regular fan, regular show fan, that is. Mm -hmm. It's episode five is my favorite one, featuring uh, the uh, the rhyming uh, uh, Wishmaker. Yeah, yeah, basically, it's really funny, and it has really good story uh, ghost stories with that too. Anyways, uh, this series ran from 2011 un until like nearly the show's cancellation around October 2016. Basically, the regular show ended in 2017 and began, 20 began in 2010. Wait, what regular show, uh, Terror Tales of the, of the Park, is overall really good Halloween special and good Halloween series for the regular show series. Anyways, uh, do you know who likes these uh, specials? Bart Simpson. He basically likes the regular show uh, Halloween specials because it reminds him of his ghost stories he tells uh, to Maggie and Lisa during the trials of horrors. Alright, now that we already talked about why I like uh, Terror Tales of the Park from regular show, Let's move on to the other thing I like, which is another like Halloween like cartoon. And it's a short lived cartoon from Nickelodeon. And it's called Making Fiends. It's a, if you don't know what Making Fiends is, let me explain it. Basically, Making Fiends, it was created by Amy Winfrey. It used to be a small web series on her website from 2003 to 2005. And then in 2007, Nickelodeon wanted to re revive Making Fiends, get, make Amy, Amy Winfrey. Turned it into a brand new TV show. It aired on, it, uh, sadly, it aired it for like a month and a half during 2008. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, now on to uh, what Making Fiends is about. A Making Fiends is about this green, uh, mean, evil girl named Vendetta. And she creates these uh, monsters uh, known as fiends who attacked uh, the, the city. That's uh, once very well known for people and once very happy. Now run down by fiends called Clamberg. Yeah, it's, it's unknown why Vendetta wanted to take over the city of uh, Clamberg, but uh, I guess uh, it because of how evil she is, I don't know. She's a voice by Gliva Mortiva, or, or, or whatever she, how her last name is pronounced. Basically, she's a, she's a, Gliva, she's a character designer for the making fiends. Mm -hmm. Well, that's right. Yeah, basically, there's not one person in Clamberg who isn't afraid of Vendetta or her fiends. Except one, a very has a nice, happy, but stupid blue girl named Charlotte. She's voiced by Amy Winfrey. Once, well, like I said before, she was the creator of Making Fiends. She thinks the whole world is sunshine and puppies and ponies and poses stamps and cheese. And basically, uh, she thinks that Vendetta is her best friend, but uh, uh, Vendetta cannot stand Charlotte or happiness or her singing and dancing, noise she's always pestering and bothering her. So she makes fiends to try to destroy her and kill her. Every time as they try to do it, she ends up failing. One, because Vendetta, uh, Charlotte ends up uh, finds a way of making the fiends nice and liking her. Or a fiend can uh, mess up and cause total chaos, much to Vendetta's dismay. Mm -hmm. Now I've talked about what the, what the two main characters are and what the show's about. Let's move on to other characters. There's Grudge, uh, uh, Vendetta's pet, giant pet hamster. He only makes a grudge noise, like, hmm. Yes, uh-huh. And then there's Mr. Milk, the soft-spoken uh, teacher who uh, is uh, hoping to uh, uh, talk to Miss Minty someday. This whole episode based around him called Toupee. It's one of my favorite episodes from the show. Then there's Marion. Okay? So the, blue girl, the blue girl is trying to dig a tunnel to Canada and hoping to escape in Canada on time. And to get away from Clamberg. Then there's Malachi, 
Let's see, the purple student who speaks in Elizabethan English. There's Maggie, the depressed student who uh, writes about sad poetry and has been uh, so depressed and miserable that she doesn't even care about Vendetta's feet. And there's my favorite character, Marvin. Basically, he's this uh, green character and whenever something happens to him or gets somebody taken away from him, he basically shakes his favorite uh, famous quotes like, My banana! My mittens! M my hair! My career! My cocoa! Thanks, Rick. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, the characters are really good and the songs, they're pretty good as well. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's a very enjoyable show. S sadly, it was only short-lived. But however, this show is really well known to most uh, two th or late 2000s Nickelodeon fans, like, like myself. And say, do you know who likes this show? Springtrap from the FNAF series. He likes making fiends because there's a lot of fiendish characters in the show just like him. Well, there you have it, everybody. That was my Halloween special of Jack Likes. There was making fiends and terror tales from the park, a regular show Halloween specials. Hey, so which, which one of these is your all-time favorite? And do you like the series and you see them or not? Yes or no? Then type down in the comment section below. Hey, so, until next time, uh, we'll see you next time when Season 10 comes and we'll, and we'll have uh, more ideas for Jack Likes. Until then, thanks for watching Jack Likes. And when Jack H uh, vlog is coming back, basically it's going to be like a costume context vlog. I'm hoping it will be, to get it ready by tomorrow. I'll put it by tomorrow. So, uh, We'll see you around. Thanks for watching and happy Halloween, everybody. And peace out.